Hello, this is Poonam, technical support expert for Palicon. In our earlier video, we had seen how to package a VOD content using AWS Elemental Media Convert Service. In this video, I'll walk you through the process for packaging a live content using AWS Elemental Media Package Service. Palicon MultiDRM is pre-integrated with AWS Elemental Media Services via the Speaky API. Let's start creating a packaging job in the AWS Elemental Media Package Service. To create a channel, you need to provide a unique ID for the channel. And depending upon your requirement, you can decide whether or not to create the CloudFront distribution for this channel. Once the channel is created, you can add multiple endpoints to it as per your requirement. Provide a unique ID for this endpoint. In the package or settings section, you can select the type of packaging required as per your requirement. You can select either the Apple HLS, Dash ISO or the CMAP format. For this tutorial, we go ahead with Dash ISO format. In the package or encryption section, Select the encrypt content options. Once you opt for this encryption, there are a few details that you'll need to provide, like the resource ID, which is any unique ID that can be provided for the content. This value will be used as the content ID while requesting a license during the playback. Next is the system ID. These are the DRM specific values assigned for each DRM. Since this is a dash group, we have provided the system IDs for Widevine and PlayReady. URL is the KMS URL for Palicon with the KMS token value appended at the end of the URL. You can find this KMS token value on the Palicon console. You need to create an IAM role with the name Speaky Access and update the trust relationship for this role to change the value of the principal service to point to media package. The ARN value of this IAM role needs to be updated in this role ARN field. Then select the speaky version as per your requirement. If multi-key packaging is required for Dash and CMAF, you need to select the version 2. For this demo, we'll go ahead with version 1. In the additional configuration section, you'll find a field called the key rotation interval. If key rotation is not required, then the value of this field needs to be set to zero. If key rotation is required, then set the interval after which you wish the key to be rotated. Once all these configurations is done, you need to save this endpoint. We are now done with all the required configurations for DRM encrypting the content. Now configure the output group in Media Live to connect to the media packet channel that we have just created and start the Media Live channel. This endpoint URL over here is the final URL which can be served directly or via the CDN as per your business requirement. As guided in our previous videos for license generation and playback, you can request for a license and test the playback of this DRM encrypted content. The packaging records for the same can be found on the Palicon console. Please check our next video for more information on the CPIX API to integrate Palicon multi-DRM with various encoders transcoders that support the CPIX based key exchange.